red. We're in the 50s, uh, but I think the wind helps make it feel even colder today, and the wind did cause a few issues out there. This photo from Steve Jancarelli on Twitter. This is in Plainfield. You can see a tree that actually came down there on the side of the road, but I think peak power outages, and this is totally unofficial, just me refreshing the pages. At one point, there were about 2,500 people that were without power, which is really not too bad. We did see a peak wind gust around 50 miles per hour, but for much of the rest of the state, there were peak wind gusts between about 35 and around 40. And this photo from eWeather, we got a lot of pictures in from all different kinds. We've got a tree down. We don't like that one, right? Uh, this is beautiful, though, with a couple spot showers that were out there at just the right time and just the right angle. Uh, E-weather here over the Connecticut River. For some reason, I unfortunately cut the river off, but a beautiful rainbow there coming down as the sun was shining into that little shower. And the final sunset of April. You guys, we made it through. This is from Christopher Graham in Portland. Really beautiful shot. Now the story shifts to the chance for a snow shower in spots as we head through the evening tonight. Um, not every town is going to see this. Temperatures are still pretty mild out there, but again, there is a chance for a scattered rain or snow shower as some cooler air comes in and this disturbance continues to dive down from the north. You can already see some snow showers up here through parts of the Berkshires, but what is immediately entering our state will likely fall as just some rain showers. Still, we're not expecting any accumulation out of this, although I'm sure that we're going to see somebody up in the northwestern corner of the state, the icebox of Connecticut, show us a picture of maybe a couple snowflakes on the deck, that sort of a thing. Taking a look at the peak wind gusts out there today, 36 miles per hour in Hartford, 43 for Windsor Locks. We did get close to 50 miles per hour in Bridgeport, 39 in Groton. The winds don't get worse tonight. They slowly start to improve. We got so many questions in about the wind. And Susan saying so many wind days this year. Ugh. We got another one in. This is from Ellen saying empty garbage clans were flying all over the neighborhood today. And Dana saying wind anxiety might actually be a thing for us here in Connecticut soon. Enough is enough. I actually look back and a lot of people saying, why is it so windy lately? I looked back at the data to try to see if I could form a connection to see if it really has been more windy, maybe the last six months compared to previous years. And I couldn't back it up. We had a regular number of wind advisories and high wind warnings and the mean wind for the year and so far year to date has been very similar to previous years. So I'm with you. It really does feel like we've had more high wind days than usual. But again, I just couldn't find the, the data to back it up. Right now, temperatures are in the 40s to around 50 degrees, which is why we're not too worried about these snow showers that are coming in here tonight. And you could just go to bed and miss out on this thing entirely. Overnight lows will be around 40 degrees for most of the state, but I do think some of our cooler spots and outlying areas could drop into the mid to upper 30s tonight. So here's a look at what that future radar looks like as we head towards 11 o'clock, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Again, mainly seeing rain showers with a few wet snowflakes, the best chance for that being in the higher elevations, but we can't rule out maybe a melting snowflake somewhere else either. And then heading into your Saturday morning, bright sunshine to start off the day. Heading into the afternoon, maybe a few fair weather clouds, but overall we're doing fine. A lot of folks have been asking about the wind, though. What happens to the wind as we head into the weekend? I do think it remains breezy as we head through the morning tomorrow, but as we head through the afternoon, the wind will start to kind of taper off. Heading into your Sunday, we're going to start the day off with some clouds. Now, Saturday night after the sun goes down, there is a chance for a passing shower, but it's gone by the time the sun comes up Sunday morning. So here's a look at high temperatures during the day tomorrow. Again, breezy, mostly sunny skies, a really great day to spend time outside. Highs around 60 degrees for Hartford, low 60s in the New Haven area, and middle 60s for Danbury. Overall, we're looking great. It is a little bit cooler than average, and especially with the breeze, you're going to notice that heading into May 1st, but it's tough to complain knowing what kind of weather we can get this time of year. Then here's that chance for a shower heading into tomorrow evening. No big deal. It's in after the sun goes down and it's gone before the sun comes up heading into your Sunday morning. Now by Sunday afternoon, temperatures are climbing into the 70s. We've got 75 for a high in Willimantic, 76 in Meriden, and 73 for a high temperature for the New Haven area. Cool spots going to be here in southeastern Connecticut with high temperatures in the upper 60s and mid 70s for a high temperature in Torrington. And I do think there is a chance for a couple showers Sunday, but not until later in the day and in the evening. We'll say after about five or six o'clock, 
Best chance for that's going to be in southwestern Connecticut. Now heading into next week, we have that interesting weather setup that we had around earlier this week. This was on Wednesday where we have highs in the 50s for Boston near 80 or in the low 80s for New York City and we're somewhere in the middle. So if you've been paying attention to our seven day forecast over the course of, oh, you know, the last several days, you've been noticing that the temperature forecast for Monday and Tuesday has been bopping around quite a bit. And the reason why is because we're trying to figure out where this front sets up. If it sets up a little farther south, we're seeing highs in the 60s, clouds and showers. If it sets up a little farther north, we're going to make it into the upper 70s again. So we're kind of right in the middle right now. And anytime the front comes near us, there's a chance for showers. And we think we get those heading into Tuesday, Wednesday. And then around this time next week, temperatures are cooler. We've got highs in the 50s for your Friday with a coastal storm offshore. So that'll be worth keeping an eye on as well. So it looks like an unsettled week ahead. Uh, but overall, doing just fine. Pretty typical stuff here heading into May, guys.